Guys, it's tip number three of January. Are you still going? Are you keeping those resolutions going on day three? I hope so. Tip three, this tip is all about how much you should train. Now, when we get clients and they start off, they all say the same thing, pretty much everybody. Should I train every day? Or they want to train more than they actually can. So when we, when we get through the lifestyle questions and go through the tailoring process, we often realize that how much a person wants to train is not only unrealistic for them and their lifestyle, but also unnecessary. When a human body starts off, whatever the fitness goals are, weight loss, muscle building, the bodies are very sensitive to the process. So the, the main point here is why do more when you can achieve up the same doing less and saving more tricks up your sleeve for future when your body is more resistant to the process. Also worth noting is it will become a chore if you train every day. And as mentioned, especially for muscle growth, the body is so sensitive, it doesn't need much volume to grow, but eventually as the body gets more resistant, it will, and that's when you add more in, but that will give you time to adapt into your training life. So if you can maintain three sessions going forward and you allow that to become a habit into your life, then eventually adding the extra one is no big deal. But maybe starting four, especially five initially, is very taxing on your focus on life. Now in terms of step counts, if we're talking about step counts, it's fine to do daily, have daily step targets. If we're talking about vigorous strength training or vigorous cardio, I would recommend training two to four strength sessions a week and maybe zero to two cardio sessions. Now this does depend on your goals. If your goals are fitness, that's different, but most of our clients is about body composition, uh, losing, losing weight, losing body fat, gaining muscle tissue. If this is you, you do not need to do cardio. Step counts help, they're low impact, they don't have a big effect on the nervous system, this means strength training is much better off anyway. So if your goals are altering body com composition, do not bother about any cardio equipment at all. And again, as mentioned in yesterday's video, strategy is the key, whether training at home or the gym. Guys, hope this one helps. On to tomorrow for tip number four.